Yeah, so Pete Thamel of uh, now of ESPN, almost said Yahoo, now with ESPN, he reported late last week that USC is expected to hire Will Harriger uh, as uh, an offensive analyst to help with the development of Caleb Williams at quarterback. Now, this this uh, hiring is not yet official, but it's expected to happen. And so the main news here is that, you know, Caleb Williams family, they made it a point. This is also something Thamel uh, reported late last week that Caleb Williams family wanted NFL quality, NFL caliber development for the, for their son. And so this is Lincoln Riley's attempt to continue to deliver on that, to build it, to enhance it. And uh, if you look at Will Harriger's uh, resume, uh, assuming that he is on board at USC, it's a fascinating career. And it's not really a, a typical career, or, it's le- or at least it's not the kind of career you hear about very often in coaching. He hasn't been the actual lead position coach uh, at his various NFL stops with the Seahawks under Pete Carroll, and then with the Atlanta Falcons, and then most recently with the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, which he was on Urban Meyer's offensive staff, helping Trevor Lawrence and also the wide receivers. He hasn't been the lead quarterback coach. He's been assistant quarterback coach. It's with the Falcons, he was the game management coordinator. Uh, and so he's always been like an assistant to the assistants. So not a high profile career. And yet you look at the fact that after he spent several years under Pete Carroll, the Falcons wanted him, uh, you know, and that would probably go to Dan Quinn when he was there, you know, Dan Quinn won the Super Bowl with Pete Carroll and the Seahawks. So when then he established his roots, uh, as the head guy in Atlanta, well, so he knew Harriger from that, but then, uh, then, uh, Harriger landed with urban Meyer's staff on the Jaguars. So obviously if you have Pete Carroll and Dan Quinn and urban Meyer all looking for your services, you must be doing something right. Like it's, it, it must be a little bit more than just knowing how to, uh, fill out a resume, knowing how to interview. Well, like you, you, you can't fake it, right. You working with Russell Wilson, working with Matt Ryan, working with Trevor Lawrence. I mean, if you're if you're hopping to those kinds of assignments, you're obviously doing something right. So Lincoln Riley looking at the this vast universe of not just assistant coaches and coordinators, but also in Harriger's case, assistance to the assistants to to land on Harriger and think that ah, that's a guy who can help Caleb Williams develop. I mean, first off, it's just an intriguing story. But secondly, Mark, the other point is Lincoln Riley is continuing to make decisions at USC, which project the very crucial idea that he doesn't think he personally has all the answers. Like he wants to surround himself with more voices, more input, more consultation. Like he, Riley is not relying solely on himself to see everything and discern everything. And that's that's the mark of a mature leader. Now, we've had discussions over the past few months, Mark, in which Lincoln Riley was acting a little bit careless. Uh, You know, he was doing things, saying things that he didn't really have to say. Uh, But in this case, like, like this looks like a very mature move. Let's surround myself with more input. Let's surround myself uh, with more perspectives so that we really drill deep and make sure that Caleb Williams becomes a fully polished NFL caliber player by the time he leaves USC. And of course, this is in service of making the college football playoff and competing for a national title. But set that aside for a moment. If Caleb Williams becomes an elite NFL player, that is a huge selling point for USC in a long-term context. You have Malachi Nelson coming down the pipeline pretty soon after that. So like there's an investment beyond the on-field results, getting Caleb Williams, you know, as a number one pick, giving him the springboard toward an excellent NFL career, like, you know, Lincoln Riley is going to be at USC. This is where he's planted his flag. This is where he's going to expect to coach for the next decade or so. So if he, if Caleb Williams is crushing it in the NFL come 2024, 2025, that's just a major catapult for USC to continue to grow and to continue to lock up the very best quarterback prospects. So Lincoln Riley is making a a very conscious long-term investment with this 
you know, very interesting, subtle hire of Will Harriger, um, the assistant to the assistants.